Have you ever wondered how algo trading is legal in stock market? How can retail investors use this algo trading? And what changes that are coming in 2025 that will impact you? If you are a trader, you will get into the world of algo trading. You probably heard what is the SEBI new regulation. And you have heard about what is SEBI new regulation. In today's video, we'll break down everything about SEBI new regulation about algo trading and how can you participate safer, especially if you're a retail trader. Let's get into the video. First, we'll see what is algo trading and why it is important. Trading allows a trader to execute the trades automatically using pre-programmed strategies. Like letting your computer to take a decision when to buy, when to sell based on your certain rules and conditions. In the past, algo trading was used by institutional traders. But now, the retail investor are willing to access these exciting tools. SEBI is stepping into making a system more safer. Imagine you are a retail trader. You want to automate your strategy. You can now create your own strategy by using a basic trading knowledge. And even you can use for your family accounts like spas, children without needing any license. But this is very important when your algo strategy crosses certain limit of a trades, you want to be approved by the stock exchange first. Now we'll see what are the key changes in SEBI new regulation. SEBI now introducing a new regulation for retail investor how to use algo trading more safely. First we'll see algo trading is for individuals. So algo shall be permitted to be used by such retail investor for their family but not for other investor. Like family for this purpose would mean self, spouse, dependent children and dependent parents only. You can now develop your algo strategies or even you can buy your algo platforms from vendors. Let's say you want to create a trading strategy and you want to buy a stock when it reaches a certain price. If your stock reaches a certain price, the algo trading automatically place an order for you. Algo developed by themselves using programming knowledge shall also be registered with the exchange through their broker only if they cross the specified order per second. For algo providers, the broker will act as a main part of a contact. Brokers will not only provide a trading platform but they will connect with the algo providers to make sure everything runs smoothly. One big change is here that is not permit open APIs and allow access only through a unique vendor client, specific API key and static IP whitelisted by the broker to ensure identification and traceability of the algo provider at the end of the user. Imagine you are signing up with the algo service. The broker will verify the service provider is approved and the system is secure using two-factor authentication to make sure no one acts into your account. If you are an algo vendor yourself, you need to tie up with the broker and ensure your IP is whitelisted for access. Next, we'll see what are the algo vendors rule. Algo vendors can sell their strategies as a subscription or they can collect a revenue as a brokerage commissions. But very important is every algo strategy is approved by the stock exchange before it's used by the retail investor. This ensures there is no risky algorithms are running in the market. Now we'll see what are the key responsibilities of brokers and exchanges. Exchanges shall continue to be responsible for supervising algorithmic trading while ensuring. First, we'll see what are the broker's responsibility is. Broker must ensure that any algorithm trading are tagged with the unique identifier which is provided by the stock exchange to track the trades. They are also responsible for ensuring all the algo orders follow all rules and regulations. Moreover, broker must handle every trader risk regarding algo trading, monitor APIs and ensure that system runs securely. 
Now we will see what are the exchange's responsibilities. Exchanges shall supervise that brokers have the ability to distinguish between algo and non-algo orders. Exchanges are going to be responsible to oversee the behavior of algo trades. They will make sure the brokers can identify algo orders separately from normal orders. They will also ensure that all algo providers and brokers will follow the rules and regulations. Now we will see the what are the categorization of algos. There are two types of categorization of algos. One is white box algos, another one is black box algos. Algos where logic is disclosed and replicable that is execution algos or white box algos. Let's say you are using white box algos. You can see how exactly it makes trading decision and replicate it for your strategy. Next is black box algo. Algos where the logic is not known to the user and is not replicable that is black box algos. On the other hand, let's say you are using black box algo. Just execute the trades based on the predefined conditions which is set by the vendors. So what does all this mean for you as a retail trader? With SEBI new regulation, algo trading is becoming more safer, more accessible whether you are a beginner or a professional trader. You can now use algo trading without any worries about legalities. But remember, all algo strategies must be approved by the stock exchange. And you need to ensure that you are using a secure platform which follows all the rules and regulations. Provisions of this circular shall be applicable with effect from August 1st, 2025. So you want to make sure you are following a updated procedure. So that's it. For more such videos, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our channel. Happy trading.